Alright, so I've had some people tell me um, to give the close combat skill uh, another try. And I actually found one, and I was able to make it the way I wanted to make it. Uh, here with the close combat. And I'm going to show you him and what he can do. Uh, and I thought there was only one undocumented move with the close combat. There's actually two moves you can do other than the combos you can do with it but I'm gonna do some examples here that work. don't work what do you think that was look pretty fucking work to me bro all right this guy was actually a sniper that I was able to recruit but if you see this guy he has you can see he was sniper but he's got endurance uh, keeps hidden pouches which I got really lucky come on really lucky with because that allows a lot of carrying capacity since you're not going to be carrying a, a melee weapon which you shouldn't um that helps a lot and then i got marathon to bump up the stamina stealth um because you know if you're going to be close combat you want to be stealthy and then close combat he came with sharp shooting i don't really like it i wish he would have had that's the only thing i wish i could change would be the weapon handling and I gave him plumbing. Now, why did I give him plumbing? Um, because plumbing is a very useful skill. And also, you can see at the bottom, it gives 20 max stamina, further boosting my stamina. My stamina is almost higher than my damn uh, health. But that's good for somebody that's going to be constantly fighting uh, stealth. So these, these three definitely, uh, this is what I wanted. A marathon, stealth, close combat. Now, that's how I recommend you set him up. Because said you're not going to be carrying a melee weapon because as the skill says or you shouldn't at least as the skill says improve by fighting close improve fighting and reduce stamina use with an empty melee weapon slot so that's very important to keep i mean you could carry one around if you wanted just for backup but close combat doesn't break as far as the weapon i recommend the combat knight obviously because it's for close combat it's the best one uh, and any gun, you can use one of the heavier guns. I got the Horde Breaker here, which is really good. Uh, and considering he's a sniper, I thought it was appropriate. I have the light backpack because he's got the increased carrying capacity. I can carry four or five of each thing and some extra bullets to take the place. I can even carry more bullets because you can see I'm still traveling light, which is what I need for Marathon. All right. That's how I recommend to set him up. If I get higher stamina, like a different skill, I would have, but him pouch is good, so... Now to the moves that are documented and undocumented. Now, the move, I talked about this before, you see, it just says execute standing enemies with the knife. And then shove attack. The shove attack is pretty useless. I'll do it real quick. It's basically just a push. That's it. So if you're lucky, it knocks them off their feet, and then you can just come by and stealth kill them. The more useful is this move, which is, and you can do it while you're running. Which is really great if you have marathon. So I'm running, holding down, running the whole time. Then I hold down the right trigger and X. This guy would stop. And boom. And because I have such high stamina, boom. up It's already up again. So you can do it while you're running. If you have marathon like me, it doesn't cost any stamina. And then you can hold all three buttons. So I'll do it to somebody really quickly. So I was trying to do it to him, but he was just fucking around. So as you'll see, I'll run right to him. As I'm holding down run, I'm going to do right trigger X right before I get to him. And boom. And you see, with Marathon, it's it's awesome. And Stealth, again, I can run stealthy like this, which really helps with the close combat skill. Uh, especially running. Now, the other move that it has documented is Standing Kill. I will show you, if I can find somebody here, is talking about this one, which I've shown before, which is the delayed, you have to hold them, do that swing, that's the, that's the, the attack, that one right there. Now here is a really good one it doesn't tell you about that you have with the close combat. Let me try to, I just want to get one of them. I'll kill one, I'll kill the, the, this guy just because I don't want to get plagued. But see, if you, if you don't wait till he swings the enemy around, he does that. Now, this is the other move, which is really good. Now, watch what happens. I'm going to dodge through him. It's a foot sweep into a head stomp. 
Normally when you do this move and you dodge behind somebody and you hit A, it just does a kick. But if you have close combat, you dodge him and he sweeps the leg like fucking Karate Kid. And then it's a, a lot of times it's an instant kill. But I think that's a very awesome move that um, I don't know if a lot of people know about, but they should. Like you see here, I'll run right past them. Boom, sweep the leg and boom, he's fucking done. I don't give a shit how. Again, past him. Sweep the leg. I'll do it to all of them. I don't, you don't even have to be running to do it. You just gotta get behind him, hit A, sweeps the leg, and head stomp. It's like, it's fucking awesome, that move. So that's another move it doesn't tell you about, but you have. It's like, I don't, I don't know why it doesn't. It just says improved. Like even this guy, I can do it to his stupid ass. See? Right on a fucking screamer. It's foot sweep, it's, it, that's an, it's an awesome move. Yeah, these two moves, these ones right here. That one, around the back. I'm like the fucking karate kid, bro. It's like you can't, it's like, what? But I think marathon and stealth are very important to have with this skill. And high stamina, because if you get caught in a crowd, and you're swinging the knife crazy. You can see how much it takes doing this, but... I have such high stamina, it's really, I can go a long time with that, you can see? It's not really going down, and then since I have Marathon, it's just going to shoot back up anyway. So it's a good combination. So on a second look at this skill, I think if you can get this combination, Close Combat Knife, Marathon and Stealth, I would have liked Weapon Handling, but you could do whatever you want here. And Plumbing, I think, also, because, again, you max it, you get Stamina. If you're lucky enough to get, you know, a good Stamina-boosting skill or even keeps hidden pouches like this, then you can carry even more stuff, so it makes up for, you know... And then you can carry the heavier guns that are really good, like this, the Horde Breaker or whatever, and a bunch of other stuff to take place of the, the melee weapon. And you don't have to worry about it. Breaking is another good thing. And, uh, yeah, it's really good with those two skills. I mean, you can see how fast it charged back up with the marathon. I don't really think they want you to have the marathon with this skill. I just finally got some. But usually I get the fucking backpacking or some useless shit when I have this skill. This is the first time I got marathon and stealth. Make sure you take advantage of that foot sweep that I showed you. Dodge behind them, hit the A button, and instead of kicking them, he's gonna do the fucking karate kid foot sweep, and then you stomp their head. Or you can or you can even finish them off with just a regular close combat. Even oh my God, our home is just you can do either or. Keep them and that's another thing too, um, when you have close combat, and I'll show it here. If you knock them down and then you do the execute, it does a really quick one while they're down also. There's two different ones. Let me let me show that. So there's this, and then there's this one. See, that's the regular. This is the regular one, where you just push an X, and he does you know two or three. And then I'll show you the execute one, which is the right trigger and X while they're down like that. I can get another zombie here, fucking up my demo zombie, fucking it up. Where? All right, here we go. Sweep the leg. Now I'm gonna, you see? That's like an instant death. It basically grabs him and then, boom. Hits him, surrounded. There's nobody out here, fucking idiot. So you can just grab him and then before, don't let him pick him up. Because normally when you um, hold the right trigger when they're down, it'll pick him up. So you don't want to do that. You just want to do it. What the fuck is that, dude? That's... Come on, man. Get away from the dumpster, fuckhead. Come over here. Come over here, stupid. Fucking... Oh, that's what he's waiting for. He's waiting for this stupid fuck. Oh, you see, that's like an instant kill, so... Go behind, sweep the leg, hold down this, and don't let him pick him up. So you hold the right trigger, and then you immediately hit X, and it does an instant ground kill. So that one also isn't really documented. Because normally when somebody is down, if you hold the, this 
the right trigger for the Xbox, it picks them up. Like I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you real quick. So if I just did this, kick them, and I hold right trigger, it's going to pick them up. And then I, I could do this move if I wanted, but that's, you know, it's too, too long. It's much quicker to just, boom, do it really, really quickly. See if I can get another candidate here. I'm, I'm so glad that these guys are... Uh, actually, nobody's bit me yet, which is fucking pretty amazing. Alright, come... Oh, this guy's a pain in the ass with the helmet. But even with the helmet, there's no fucking match for me. Do this. Sweep the leg. Bang! Out of there. Takes a lot of stamina, but when you have marathon and high stamina like I do, it's like nothing. It doesn't really matter. So those are the moves that I've seen and recommend doing. And uh, if you can get, like I said, a hero setup or similar to this with close combat, I think it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. That's it.